So determine the electron pair and molecular geometries for PF5. Anytime I want to determine the geometries of a molecule, I first need to get the Lewis structure of that molecule. So I'm first going to figure out the number of valence electrons I have to work with here. So phosphorus has five, and I have five fluorines, which each have seven, and that gives me a total of 40 electrons that are going to be in my Lewis structure. I start by putting the phosphorus in the center, one because it has a lower electronegativity than fluorine and we know that fluorine is always going to be a terminal atom. So I'm going to draw my skeletal structure, all single bonds. Now I've used up 10 electrons. Now I'm going to start filling in my octets on each of my fluorines and see how many electrons I have used after I've done that. So what I see is I've now used up all 40 of my electrons, therefore I don't have any additional electrons to go on that central atom, and so this is going to have the general form of A X5, where X represents the number of bonding groups. There's no E term in this particular general form because we have no non-bonding groups on the central atom. Those are the only ones that I'm going to be worried about. So our electron geometry, because we have five groups, will be trigonal, bipyramidal, and because all of the groups are bonding groups, our molecular geometry will also be trigonal, by pyramidal.